Hey, I'm Connor from Total Shape, and in this video, I'll be showing you my top 10 easy curl bar exercises to build bigger arms. Let's do this. Most people wind up in the weight room doing the same standard bicep curl over and over, maybe just gradually adding weight over time. But adding more weight isn't the same thing as getting stronger. And for that reason, you need to change up the exercises that you're doing. A good way to do this is to grab the easy curl bar and mix it up. Do 21s, do reverse curls, do drop sets, do all kinds of awesome exercises that I'm about to share with you to build the massive guns that you're after. Make sure you do these exercises consistently so that you can have the results that you want and start raising those eyebrows with those rock solid biceps. The best easy curl bar exercises are gonna be the ones that work both heads of the bicep and the tricep. Let's get into my top 10. Number one is gonna be the preacher curl. Now the preacher curl is proven to activate your biceps more so than other curls due to the support of your arms on the bench. To do the preacher curl, adjust the height of the preacher bench so that it comes in contact with your armpits. Grasp the barbell with the standard palms up grip with your hands at shoulder width. Keep the back of your arms firmly against the equipment and curl upwards until vertical. Lower the bar slowly over the course of about three seconds. Repeat it any number of times that you want. Number two is gonna be the reverse grip curl. Now the reverse grip curl is great because it's gonna help you target muscles that normal curls won't actually hit. This is gonna be the top of the forearm muscles primarily. So when you're curling up like that, you'll be activating this to grow the meat and size of your arms. To do the reverse grip curl, start by standing upright, feet and hands at shoulder width, elbows close to the sides, and, and your palms facing down. Moving only the forearms, curl the bar upward while breathing out until as close to vertical as possible. Squeeze the bicep while holding things there for a second, and slowly return to the starting position while breathing in. Repeat. The third exercise is going to be the varied grip curl. Now it's very important that you incorporate into this routine because the bicep has two heads, the long head and the short head. So by switching up your grip when you perform the curl exercise, you're gonna be make sure you're targeting both heads of your bicep. Now, to do the varied grip curl, choose a particular type of curl and with each subsequent workout, increase the width of your hold by two inches, beginning with the hands close together and moving outward. An alternate approach would be to increase the width of your arms two inches with each set of your workout. The fourth exercise is gonna be the back and forth curl. Now this requires a partner to complete and just know that it's not for the faint of heart. This will result in a serious arm pump. Now, one of you guys is gonna set the tone and the other is gonna to try to beat the challenge set by your partner. Let's get into it. For the back and forth curl, perform a set of curls to failure rather than to any particular number. When you've finished, pass the curl bar to your training partner whose challenge is to do more curls than you just did. When your training partner is done, they should pass the curl bar back to you and once again, you perform a set to failure before passing the bar back to them to see if they can surpass what you did. Do three total sets of this. The fifth exercise is gonna be the close grip curl. Now this is just as the same as a standard curl, but your arms, your grip's gonna be in closer and your arms will be pinned to your side, resulting in that close grip. Stand with feet at shoulder width, with elbows close in, grab the bar with both hands, palms up, and no more than eight to 12 inches apart. Exhale as you raise the bar until your forearms touch your bicep. Flex your biceps for a second at the top. Slowly return the bar to the starting position, inhaling as you do. Repeat to your desired number of reps. My sixth exercise is the drop set. The drop set was created to allow you to go past your point of failure in your workout to get more reps in, more blood flow to your arms, and more muscle growth for you. This is how it's done. Using five pound plates, or a weight that you're comfortable with, load the bar with the maximum amount of weight you think you can do for six reps. Then perform a set of curls till failure. Now remove one plate from each side of the bar and curl to failure again. Then remove another plate and curl to failure again. Repeat until you've reached the final set of plates. So with the drop set, you can just do one drop set. You can do a double drop set where you drop the weight twice. You can do it four times, you can do it five times, it doesn't matter. You can keep on dropping the weight until there is no more weight to drop and go to failure. This is gonna be a crazy pump and it's one of my favorite exercises to do with an easy curl bar. 
The seventh exercise will be the upright row. Now the unique shape of the curl bar allows you to do some cool exercises like the upright row. Essentially what you do is you grip the bar and because of the curve, it allows you to bring your arms up higher, more so than a straight bar, which is gonna hit your traps much better, so it's a great shoulder exercise. This is how it's done. Start with the bar parallel to the floor and grasp it in an overhand fashion with the hands close together. Keep your shoulders back and raise the bar as high as you possibly can. Hold for a few seconds. Now slowly return the bar to the starting position and repeat. The eighth exercise is gonna be the overhead tricep extension. Now as most people start to get older, as they age, they're gonna notice that this tissue down here starts to sag. But if this is you, have no fear. All you have to do is start working out your triceps. And the overhead tricep extension is a great way to do that. You're gonna to wanna to grab a bar and stand with your feet shoulder width apart and raise the bar overhead. Carefully lower the bar behind your head then raise it until your arms are extended straight upward. Slowly return the bar to its position behind your head and repeat. Ideally, you're gonna have a spotter watching you when you're in this position because it can be kind of dangerous with the bar up here. So make sure you uh, put your safety first and have a spotter in the gym. The ninth exercise is gonna be 21s. Now 21s, it's gonna be just like a standard curl, but the name 21 refers to the number of reps that you're gonna be doing in each set. Start just like a normal curl, feet shoulder width apart, grip the bar, and now for your first seven reps, you're gonna to wanna to go to 90 degrees. So right here, pump out seven reps, now once you're in this position, you're gonna to wanna to go all the way up and come back to 90 degrees doing seven more half reps. Now to finish it off, just seven full reps. So 14 through 21, gonna be full reps. Your biceps will be on fire, I guarantee you. This is another one of my favorite easy curl bar exercises because it simply works. You know, your arms immediately get pumped. You're gonna notice it the next day in a few weeks if you do it consistently. They're still growing in size and it's awesome. So definitely start exploring the 21s. And the 10th exercise on my easy curl bar list are gonna be 100s. Now 100s refer to the fact that you're gonna be doing 100 reps over three sets. Now this is gonna build size as well as muscle strength and endurance. So to start with the 100s, you're gonna to wanna to load the bar up with about 40% of the weight that you can do for six to eight reps. From this point, you're gonna to wanna to grab the bar and curl out 50 reps. It's gonna be hard, but you gotta do 50. Now, after doing your first 50 reps, you wanna rest for two minutes. Once you rest for two minutes, you bang out another 30 reps. After you bang out 30 reps, you're gonna do another two minutes of rest, finish your last 20 reps, and that's how you do the hundreds. Try it out on your own. So now a question I get asked all the time is what's the difference between a curl bar and a regular straight bar? That's a great question. And the main thing lies in the shape of the bar. So the curl bar is gonna have like a W shape and the positioning of your hands when you're actually doing exercises. So the curl bar is just like the name says, it's mainly used for curls to target different muscle groups, whether it be overhead, regular, you know, it's gonna work muscles when you're doing a curl. When a straight bar, you know, you can use it for squats, you can use it for deadlifts, you can use it for all different exercises. So that's really the main difference between a straight bar and a curl bar. Hope this helps. And as the name insinuates, the curl bar is great for both the biceps mainly, but also the triceps. It's mainly a tool used to build bigger arms. And as a result of working your arms, you're also gonna be working your forearms with the curl bar, which is great if you're looking for that thick, um, forearm development and also some, some better grip strength as well. So the curl bar is very versatile, but it's mainly going to be working the arms. So those are our top 10 easy curl bar exercises here at Total Shape. Start training your biceps to failure three times per week and you're going to watch your little frail skinny arms go from unremarkable to you're going to start looking like the Terminator. Not overnight, you got to work for it, but it will happen. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's Connor from Total Shape, and we'll see you next time.